I can even act on subtasks right here. I don't have to go into the subtask to do that. Um, and uh, I can similarly perform other functions like assigning, uh, logging work, linking, et cetera, right here. Looking at some of our questions, how do we get to boards and backlogs? We get there from the Agile menu. It will show you your, once you've logged in, it will show you the recent boards you have used, and you can click on either more or manage boards in order to see the full list of boards that have been created. Is there anything unique about creating or editing a JIRA that we should know about? Um, there are changes to how we are using particular fields in JIRA, um, like what, how we're going to use the component field or how we're using the fixed version field. Um, and I'll talk about that in a moment, or I'll talk about that a little bit later in the presentation. Um, one thing I'll add at this point in time, oh no, um, nope, I'm going to hold that too. Does the PDT need to do anything to maintain the query for the backlog? Can we still create queries? I would encourage us to, to test the waters and see if the backlog queries that have been pre-configured work for us before, and, and raise issues if we find that we don't think they're working. Uh, because the backlog is something that we need to sort of have a shared and common understanding on. Um, the, where I think there's great opportunity is for filtering within the view, within that that basic filter. And there's really very little that's set up as the uh, in, in the background filtering or querying this backlog. It's like your team and our project, and I think we filter out the features because. You know, only core analysis can work on the feature to define epics. You know, you don't you, you deliver user stories, you don't deliver features. So, um, if the if you want to create quick filters, that's one way of sort of having the best of both worlds, I would imagine. And your the team lead um, can do that via via this configure tools uh, area over here. The question about there's a question about rank order. Is it just a position a Jira that, that happens in Jira? There actually is an attribute behind the scenes. It's really kind of complicated about how it works. Um, there is there is some information up above um, that um, that you can view about that, and there may even be some information in the FAQ. Um, but I'll, I'll suffice it to say there is a field in the background that does not have a lot of com it's, a, it's a number jira figures out the the um jira assigns a number that's relative relatively between the number that's that the two tickets on the backlog have the two tickets around a particular ticket have so in in a cheap example if if one ticket is 10 and one ticket is 20, and you move a ticket between it, it may get the number of 15. But you can't look at that number of 15 and know that it means much of anything. Is there a way to configure JIRA so the Greenhopper view is my default view right after login? Yes, you can do that um, through Right here, my JIRA home, you can set uh, da dashboard, Agile, you can set where JIRA goes after you log in. 